Hey guys, it's Dawn and Lisa here, and today I want to talk about why would you go bitless? Um, I put Lasser's bit on. You saw he was just yawning. He'll probably do more as he tells me to or asks me to um, take it off. Come here, Lasser. Um, so I figured I let him do the talking as well because don't take my word for it. Listen to your horse. Um, he's gonna do some more yawning. He's gonna probably just keep yawning um, because there's a bit in his mouth again. Now, not saying that the bit, this is his bridle that I rode him in forever before we transitioned to bitless about three years ago. Hey, Lasser, no, stay over here. Good boy, stay. Ho, ho, ho. I know, just stay right there so I can see all of you. Ho, ho. You're fine. He's trying to figure out an escape. He's trying to come to me to ask me to get it off him. And then he wants to go away. And then I'm telling him he can't go away. Okay, hop, hop. He's like, well, then take it. Um, oh, nope, hope. Oh. Hold on, you're fine. Just stay there. Talk from over there, okay? I, I need to show this on video. Just talk over there. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So this bit isn't hurting him. This is a very comfortable. Um, it's a Kimberwick. It's a it's a straight mouth, uh, low port bit. So the low port is for uh, uh, room for his tongue to make it comfortable for his tongue. Okay. The straight bits um, he likes those better than a jointed bit because it doesn't move around and fuss look he's doing hard blinking at me hard blinking hard blinking hard blinking more yawning um, so the bit isn't hurting him but he doesn't like it he wants me to get it off him there he's gonna rub Oh, oh, so why, why go bitless, all right? Um, well, it's more like why, why use a bit? Every properly trained horse from baby is trained bitless. They are trained in a halter. They are trained, so they're trained everything that they need to know in a halter. And then you switch them to a bit at one point. And when you switch them to a bit, you have to do something called bitting them up, which is basically, um, having them wear the bit small um, periods of time at a time and let their mouths get used to wearing the bit or otherwise let it callous up and all that and get used to the bit. He's going to go to his food for comfort. Hey, no, no. I don't want you getting all tangled up in that. And I know, I want to see your, I want, I want to see stuff. I know. Just, you need to keep talking because this is what people are gonna see because people need to hear it from the horse. No, no, don't go to your food. Come on. Um, what was I saying? So every horse is trained bit a bit less <clears throat> and then, oh, stay right there. And then you switch to a bit. And I think the bit is more for people and tradition. Um, people because they used to break horses. So it used to be a really rough process for the horse. Uh, the horse was taught that they had no choice, so they had to give in. This was um, uh, from people that believe that horses are just tools. They're just dumb animals, they're just tools. And they're not sentient beings, they're not friends, um, they're not dogs, you know, and stuff like that. Now. We have overwhelming evidence and examples to prove that horses can be exactly like dogs or even better because we can ride on them. They'll carry us as well. So they are like even more useful and even more awesome than dogs. Um, I know dogs everywhere are cursing me, but, um, but they can and will very willingly 
listen to us without a bit in their mouth. Oh, look at that dirty look he's giving me. Um, it's no, nope. no, nope. no food for comfort. We want to see, we want to see all of this because. This is gonna show people what you think. I need to I need to hear these curses, okay? I need to see the curses. Go ahead and curse me. That that's what that's what this video is about. So what does hey hold on? I know, I know. What does the horse prefer? Obviously bitless. Because it's more comfortable. There's nothing in their mouth. They can eat better, they can breathe better, they can drink better, everything. Uh, who wants a piece of metal in their mouth? Just very, very obvious that the bitless is what the horse prefers so why and uh we now have overwhelming evidence from all disciplines dressage uh, jumping even the even the western sports cutting and um and reining and all of that that horses can totally listen to everything while bitless has nothing oh he's kicking he's kicking out with his hind legs swishing his tail oops to get far away to get his whole body um overwhelming evidence that they prefer a bit less and that they will willingly do everything that they are trained while bitless so when people go why go bitless i say actually the question is why use a bit other than the person wants it, and tradition says that the horse needs a bit. But does any horse need a bit? No. In fact, um, I think the hard mouths horses are the ones that most need to go bitless because they're the ones the most fed up. And if they have calloused their mouths and calloused their minds, more importantly, their minds, to the bit to where they get such a hard mouth and mind that they will no longer listen to the bit anymore, then you will be in real trouble because then that is something that you can't stop. Um, so you want softness because it's gonna save your life. <laughs> you, you know, because softness means that you have someone that is gonna listen with a very, very minor force and you can save the more aggressive horse for an emergency. A hard mouthed horse is gonna be dangerous in an emergency because you've already, you have made it so that, not you, don't per, but you know, they people have made it so that their mouths and minds are so callous to the point that they, they will not listen to anything anymore. Their norm is so high up that you have no backup, no back, no emergency. Oh, this is very interesting. So you see, he is going through all the phases of, uh, I don't know what you call it. So the phase he went through was asking me for help, coming towards me, asking me for help. And then he was um, yawning and stuff, right? And so he's, he's trying to relieve his own stress. And then he's trying to get away, go back to um, what's comforting. So what's comforting other than me is food. I wouldn't let him go back to food. And then it's to, oh, he's gonna keep coming. Then you saw him earlier, he was shutting down. He's closing his eyes, standing there and shutting down. And those are like all the different stages. Like he's shutting down. This is, oh, a very, very disappointed in me. All right, so hopefully this is very clear. And let me go ahead. And you know what? When I put this in his mouth, he didn't he didn't really fight me or anything. He just um, he opened his mouth and every, well, I had kind of had to tell him, hey, open your mouth. But um, he opened his mouth and he took the bit. He re he remembers. Oh my gosh, I can't do this with one hand. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me see. He's like, oh, 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 I think you're kicking it off. Ugh. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, I want you to see. Oh, oh. I want you to see his face when I take it off. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Let's 
see if he does anything. Oh, let's say. Stay here. He's like, I'm going back to my food now. I did not like this game. Good boy. Good boy. I'm I know. I'm gonna have to seriously make up with you. I know, I know. He's like, what do you want now? Can I just go? Sniffing the Ooh. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay. You forgive me now. <laughs> you forgive me? Fine. Get some good scratches in. You can see he's making. He's totally stretched out for me. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that stress now. Okay. Oh. It's like, I hope you don't have something else in mind to torture me with. He's being sullen now because he thinks I'm going to torture him with something else. All right. All right. I give you lovings. So anyways, hope that helps. And I got to stop this video now and make, uh, make up to my boy here. But um, I guess I will stop. I was going to put this bit on and then put this on him, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I think we got enough footage of his um anger so anyways this is a this is supposed to be a snaffle bit it's uh something uh oh mick mick oh i can't remember the name but uh it's a uh cuprion this materials cuprion oh mick mar i think it's mick mar mick mar bit it was supposed to be one of the most comfortable um but he hates joined and he hates this this copper some people say that the, they like the copper and stuff um, he hates it he hates this bit so the one that we've always used was just a straight shank uh, with a low port but uh, he now hates this as well so anyways there you go I gotta make up to my boy and hope that helps and I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching <laughs>